No one needs to be, you know what? I will. You ready? Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful, gorgeous Kanzorex, Armenia. This is Southeast Armenia, and look behind us, we have a cave village, a cave village, what is this? Actually, this is a live example how in ancient times in Armenia people could dominate the nature and take the best of it. Here we have a huge cave village. Actually, this site was inhabited since Bronze Age period and people used to live in here till the middle of 20th century. Imagine wow. our days, 20th century our days. That's crazy. But they were very developed, they had economy, they have had production, they had churches, schools, shops, uh, meals, like producing an oil in here. That was oh. like a beautiful life. Yeah, I mean, from what I see right here is that you have a bridge, you have a lot of caves, right? Like beautiful, it looks very similar to Cappadocia. You were saying it's like Cappadocia in Armenia. That's like right. what they say. And then over here we have a church. I mean, what a spot. So what, what are we doing? There's a in the bottom. So they were taking the water from the river. And recently in 2012, we constructed this hanging bridge to connect both sides of the gorge. And it's nice spot for hiking, especially. We're gonna hike now? <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is the car you liked. This. The lava? This is my type of Soviet yeah, vehicle. We're taking the faster way down because we're really limited with time. It's a, it's a bit of a hike. Sun is setting right now. We're just trying to get really up close. See it all, see as much as we can. And wow, I mean, you see endless caves. How many caves are there? Uh, actually, the, 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 the number of caves is uh, really numerous and we know that there were about 15,000 uh, inhabitants but people couldn't really guess how many they were because the number of the families were about 8,000 and they say you need to multiply it in a, like average three members in each family and you gonna you can get a number of the uh, population so to, sometimes there are sources they say there was not 15,000 it were more it could get till 20,000 so we don't exactly know the number of the families but it was a really huge village like up to 20,000 and a little bit more the population could get yeah so I mean it's basically rock formations like like we said Cappadocia in Armenia huge rock formations they basically carved into it like the cave right so they made yes. their own cave Wow, look These at this. are natural rocks, but when you enter the cave, it's uh, you can see that some of the caves uh, are went deeper, like handmade went deeper. So there you can find like one bedroom, like apartments, two bedroom apartment with the kitchen area, with the sitting hall area. Like these were natural caves and people went deeper already, like uh, carved the rest themselves. <laughs> All right, so this is the way from where we were, right? And you go down, and the bridge, perfect, let's go. The bridge stable, it's not bad. Woo! 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 <laughs> oh, wow. The caves are very ancient. As I mentioned, they lived the, uh, since Bronze Age period, so it means at least like 4,000 years we have, for the, like history of 4,000 years. People inhabited in here, they had daily life, uh, like, agriculture cattle breeding but they and then but, but they, they lived here until the 19th century they lived here until the middle of 20th century wow okay so until the 1900s okay okay wow until 19th okay, so, so i was confused but perfect so it's been like centuries till the middle of 20th century it means the last families left this area in 1950s so here we have an interesting legend about uh, this area when there was a man that wanted to build an oil mill and the stones were really heavy, the stones that you need to crush the seeds for crushing the seeds. And he got an advice from his friend that you need to together all the guys in this area and invite them for a wine 
and you need to call out all the girls to the balcony so they can watch these guys and then you're gonna announce I'm going to see who is the strongest one in the village <laughs> and all the men, a young man in the village started to carry that heavy stone on the top of the hill so he could build his oil mill here we have an incredible cave this is a little different the other ones looked more stone this is like looks more just rock formation right exactly they really they used to have like a bedroom they used to have a wooden f furniture they used to have a wooden balconies in front of this caves so this was natural and they like carved out and made their own things right because over here yes. they carved everything yes they even could carve a separate room so even a room they could carve and go deeper and some of the caves had tunnels in between so and if there was an attack there was a war so people could escape from one apartment to another one they had even that tunnels in between the caves but this area is really like a hidden treasure you know and the armenian mountains because when you cross nearby you cannot guess that there might be some 25,000 people living in this gorge you know they really really felt themselves very safe and protected in here I mean, they're in a gorge, like to get here is almost impossible unless you're coming with an army. <laughs> like, how do you get here? You know, like, look at this. And look at this. This, this is this a is natural an fortress. Thing. It's like natural fortress. No, yeah, but those are cave, like houses right there, right? Yes. All of them. Yes, all of them. So this is all the village right here. All of it around here. So getting through, you had like one or two paths, you know, different levels. And you go around and right below us, right there's a church. There's a church. There's a 17th century church. They had a few churches in here. They had 27 shops. They had three schools. They had a lot of stuff and they were quite uh, fashionable sometimes. And they say, people say the population was so big that from one district, they didn't know the people from the other district. So it was so big. It was a really big people even didn't know each other. And the ones that lived c closer to the, uh, you know, to the Goris, which is a really big city, they say they uh, dressed more fashionable than the ones which were at the other side. So they were whispering all the time about each other. <laughs> I just got a call from our dinner and it says we're out of time and it says wine is waiting <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys I mean we ran out of time here it got dark really early uh, we got here around 5 30 it's 6 30 now the sun is gone I highly suggest coming here I am like early like 3 3 p.m. if you really want to explore if you want to do a few hours um, a lot of people come here and they go hiking deep into the caves you can see many caves like you said, hundreds of caves, the church, schools. And there is a beautiful hanging bridge that will help you to get at the other side of the gorge. And actually there is a nice cafe opened by a local man who lived in this cave in the very early ages in his childhood. And you can have a very uh, local uh, herbal tea and uh, some snacks, why not? In the summertime ice cream, beer, some spa Spend some time and just go back to your BNB around somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to like jump around on the bridge, but we're the last ones. No one else is here. And we do crazy things. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. We have about a 45 minute drive. I'm really hungry. I can't wait. More delicious Armenian food and wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now we drive through uh, Goris uh, town, which is a very developed town in Sunik region and a nice spot for your overnights. There we have beautiful hotels, uh, b some restaurants. And by the way, this has uh, some interesting background. Uh, when we were about to become a part of Soviet Union, under the leadership of one of Armenian heroes, Garagin Nujde, uh, we created Mountainian Republic of Armenia with capital of Goris. It is dark, we arrive. What is this? Hotel Hanadzor. Hanadzor Eco Resort. I'm in the dark. It's really, really dark here. Whoa, it's nice and nippy. My driver's not happy with the road. <laughs> here it is, look at this. Hanadzor. Hanadzor Eco Resort. Perfect. Guys, I'm so hungry. It's 8 30 at night. Wow. We got one big villa. 
Nice. nice. Smells good. Like good, huh? Good, good. I like it. Uh, not hot. So the the whole world uh, restaurant is very good. So they have three rooms. <sighs> Do you guys share in this room? I got this room. I'm guessing there's a lot of wine because there's a barrel in the hotel. <laughs> no. <laughs> guys, this hotel is in the middle of a forest next to a gorge. So you can see these like open air like dining areas. Over here you have a huge dining area with three tables. You have a few other tables just laying around. And right here we have the main dining hall. Okay, so this is dinner. We have another feast. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is a feast, guys. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things, seven things. But this one is barbecue chicken with potatoes with fat inside. We have like some herbs. We have more veg. We have bread, herbs. This one's yogurt, though, right? You said like fresh, super fresh yogurt. Plain yogurt, it's gonna be amazing. How do you eat that with the uh, bread? Just with bread? More salad, that's like a barbecue salad with uh, eggplant, what else? Yes. Onions, peppers, and this is the beans. Yes. Oh, I'm going with the beans first. And you mm -hmm. have? Yes. Lavash. I have lavash, and it's coming to you, actually. It's coming to me? Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take the whole thing. Wow, big piece of bread. Look at that, the lavash, my favorite. It really is my favorite. You're gonna grab. Country's neighboring does. They have it. But not like this. But not like this. They're different. Yeah. And you can grab anything with lavas, right? Mm. Herbs, cheese, veg. This area is famous in red beans. So if you come here, you should try red beans. Oh yeah, so this area is famous in red beans, but these are red beans? I guess they're red yeah. beans, but they, they have some type of like uh, sauce on top with mm -hmm. other herbs. I'm gonna have some more because it's so good. Barbecue veg salad. Mm -hmm. So you put it on the grill and then you put it into a salad. Wow, so it's like roasted, they're all roasted basically. Wow, this is another super healthy green, huh? It almost looks like kale. You know kale? So here we have the yogurt, super fresh yogurt. Should I put it on top of the horse kale? Wow, I'm gonna put it right there on top of the horse kale. Oh wow, oh, it's gonna be good. Mm. And then over here we have some of this veg. You have tomato and the eggplant. Ganats. Ganats. Uh, Armenia. Yeah, Armenia. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> this horse kale with the yogurt, phenomenal. Mm. And over here we have the chicken, barbecue chicken. And we have the potato with fat. Yes, David, we always have it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> we always, they always have greens on the table, different greens. So you put it into either the lava or you just eat it whole. Mm. And that's because it's so fresh, right? It's always fresh. It should be. It always should be fresh. Mm. And it's always this bad boy that you never want to eat. Yeah. No one eats Hot it. Boy. <laughs> no one eats it, but you know what? I will. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> hot boy, hot boy. Next up, we're trying the chicken barbecue. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They preserve it for a while with red pepper and salt. Mm -hmm. so. Super fresh on the barbecue, a little crispy. But I can't wait to try the potato with the fat. Oh, here we go. So this is the barbecue potato. There's actually no fat inside. It's actually outside. So it's like, is that pork fat? Yeah. Yeah, so it's pork fat. So that, that's basically pork rinds right there. Or at least it looks like it. What they do is that they put it on a skewer, all of them, and they put potato, fat, potato, fat. So that to get all the fat going into the potato. Oh my god. It's hot? No, it's freaking crazy good. Crazy good. Potato? No, the fat. 
<laughs> the potato too, the potato too. The fat in the potato together is insanely good. You have the fat that was melted like straight into it, like it's just been like, cooking straight into the potato. And then super crispy fat. It's almost like like super buttery at the same time crispy. <laughs> These girls are having a party. They're laughing like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying I put some some beans, some chicken, maybe a piece of the pepper, maybe some greens. Like it's it's okay, right? It's and called Armenian salad. Add the wine. No, the wine. It's called. We usually call these kind of things ajapsa. Ajapsa. So I mixed a few greens, beans, some of the potato. Actually, I even throw in a piece of fat right there. Boom, right there. They said I could do this. Like everybody does it. Mm. Actually, this is. You know why it's so good? Because you get a little bit of spice. Then you get every single flavor. The eggplant is like it dominates the whole flavor. Incredible chapati. Sorry, lavash. Mm. What I love about it is that it's healthy. It's good. Mm. It's always good to finish your meal with this, and it's like. It's really good. This type of um, sandwiches with very cold watermelons or hot summertime. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good nuts. Good nuts. <laughs> Good nuts. Good nuts. I'm gonna finish this meal with this incredible like sandwich. It's almost like a burrito, a veg burrito. Mm -hmm. The shape. Spiced pepper, a bit of cheese in there, it's a little salty. Mm. Nice crunch with the spring onion. Too good. So we explored a cave city. That was Hanzoresk. Hanzores. So that's basically Cappadocia of Armenia. An incredible spot. They have a church, they have a bridge, they have like hundreds of different caves. You can really take your time there, you know, hike for two or three hours, go in there, explore all of it. I mean, we really didn't have time to do that because the sun was setting, but it was beautiful. We sent the drone up, we got incredible shots. And then after that, we came over here, which I don't even know where we are. We were, we were like the last ones to we, we leave the, last the area. Ones. Like we looked like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> This is a Harsnazor Resort, it's in Halidzor Gorge. We are going to overnight here in a guest house. We had uh, delicious food and mm -hmm. tomorrow morning we're going to are going to admire the gorge around. Yeah, so when we wake up we're gonna see the gorge right out our window. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We really enjoyed making it for you guys. House wine here in Armenia is so good. If you like the video of David, <laughs> Thumbs up, <laughs> follow his link, <laughs> and watch him on YouTube. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll redo that. <laughs> so guys, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment below if you love this video. Cheers. Ganets.